Today I'm going to be teaching you how to paint light colored hooves. So let's start off with the things that we will need. Starting off with brushes, you need quite a few. Um, I have these four here. They all need to be fairly small. So here we have sort of like a rounded, a little tiny pointed, and an angled, and just a regular little small one here. As for paint colors, here I have a burnt sienna and a mustard yellow. And of course a white. Now when I paint hooves, I use mixed media, which means I use both paints and other forms of supplies. So I also use pastel dust. Um, I usually use sort of like a red brown and then I also use a regular brown. I'm a little low on that, might need to shave some more of that off before we start. And some black. Now you don't need all these colors but these are just the ones I always have on hand for when I paint hooves. Now another trick for painting hooves is using colored pencils. Now when you're painting light colored hooves, you're going to want to use browns and maybe a little bit of gray. So I have these two colors here. I have a mahogany red and a warm gray. They are both Prismacolors, since Prismacolors, uh, they work very well. They're a bit on the expensive side, but they're totally worth it in the long run. Keep in mind that you don't necessarily have to use Prismacolors, it's just what I always prefer to use. So to start painting, you're going to want to take some of your white here and put it in your paint palette. You might need quite a bit because you don't know how many layers you'll need because sometimes first layer doesn't cover everything. Okay, so just poured that out. Now you're going to take your brown here. It's going to be your main color. Um, let me Put this down here so you can see the mixing take place. Okay, so we're going to take the brown here and put some over here. We're going to take the yellow and put some right over here. Okay, so now you're going to want to take one of your paint brushes. I usually use this one for adding coats. And uh, we're going to take some of this white here, start mixing it in. So as you can see, the color is getting lighter. Okay. Then we can go in, add some yellow. Then scoop some more white in there. Might need some more white. <laughs> okay, but we're starting to get like a skin tone here. And you can just keep mixing until you get the color that you like. Okay, so here we have the colors. As you can see, I have a little bit of a darker color, then I have a little bit of a lighter color. Um, you're going to need both. Um, it's only a slight difference, as you can see here. Let's see. Just add a little bit more white to the other color. And so now you're going to want to take the light color and start applying it to the hooves. Make sure that your brush is dry, because usually if you use a wet brush, um, it leaves more streaks and it can also cause the paint to drip a little bit. And you don't need to really add any water to the paint for the hooves because you want it to kind of go in a little thick there. But you still want to be careful about not globbing it on because otherwise it's going to leave, well not streaks, but sort of ridges from where the paint was. And you're going to be careful not to go too, too high up on the hoof there. Okay, and just sort of go all the way around. And also, a mistake that most people make is not painting underneath the hoof. Yes, you need to paint underneath, otherwise the model is technically not finished. See, so make sure to get up underneath there. 
So this is what it should look like after one coat. Now you can wait for that to dry while you do the other hooves. So here we have the first layer on all of the hooves and it should look a little something like this. See, nothing too fancy, but we're going to add another layer after that. Also another trick that I learned is for doing the back of the hooves, you don't want it to go straight across. You sort of do like a little V there, so it can look a little something like that. So let's wait for this layer to dry and do the next layer. Now once you finish the second layer, you can take your small brush here and dip it into the darker paint here. And then you can just lightly sort of flick it across the hooves to create little stripes there. Okay, you don't need a lot, and you especially don't need a lot on your paintbrush, otherwise it's going to just sort of glob on there and won't look very nice. Okay, so I'm going to give you a little close-up of what that looks like. And you can sort of blend it in with the lighter color if you don't like it or if it gets too dark. So you're going to do that to all the hooves here. Oop, got too much. You can just wipe the excess off on like a paper towel or something or something. So then here we have the fully streaked hooves. Now you wait for that to dry and then you can start doing the other medias. Now once everything is dried you can take your brown colored pencil and you are going to very very lightly make little thin lines on it. Um, what I suggest is that when you're making the lines, wherever there's the dark paint, you sort of do it there. So it looks like it just kind of blends. The good thing about Prismacolors is that if you lick your finger and not too much, but just sort of wipe at it. It sort of blends and smudges, so it's not quite so prominent. So see? Sort of blends in there. All right. Now once you get your brown horizontal lines, how you like them, you can start with your gray. And the gray lines are gonna go vertical. So I have my gray here. I'm just going to very lightly start from the top of the hoof and make my way down. You don't have to start them all from right at the top there. You can start some like right in the middle and make them different lengths. I'll zoom in a little bit so you can sort of see what I'm talking about. Like that. Just do that all the way around the hoof. You can even do two in one line, so do that and stop, and then go down a little bit more. Like that. And they don't have to be evenly spaced either. So you can have some closer together. Do a little short one there. And do just like a little bit down there. So here we have the hooves. They have all of their little lines drawn in. And what you can do now, or if you want to, is take some pastel dust, I'm using dark brown, and just sort of sweep it across the bottom here. I don't usually like to go all the way to the top because usually the top is a little bit lighter. So as you can see, there's some difference there. And just do that. You can wipe off some of it so it's not quite so dark and do that all the way around the hoof. I'm gonna flip him over so I can do the other side. So it'll look a little something like that. So here's what it looks like after you have all the pastel dust done. But um, also, you're not done quite yet. You're going to take some of the brown, put some of it on your brush here, and you need to do underneath the hooves too. In the areas like right here, those need to be darker, so you can just rub it in there. 
See, it's a little bit darker right there. Just take a little bit and put it right in the frog there. Oops, sorry. <laughs> okay, so it'll look a little something like that. Then for the finishing touches, you can take another brush here, take your black. You don't really need a lot of black at all. I'm just telling you that now. Just dab a little bit on there, and then to areas that you want, just sort of bring the brush down lightly. See, so it leaves a little bit of a stripe. I like to do them in either twos or threes. Then you can wipe it off as much as you want if it gets on a little too dark. And then once you finish painting the hooves, then all you have to do is spray some matte finishing spray on it. And I use Treehouse Studios Clear Acrylic Matte Coating. So then, as soon as you do that, you're done, and I hope I was able to help you out today.